Welcome to Big Data Management 10.2.1. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you BDM's capabilities to integrate with AWS ecosystem. Let's first take a quick look at the reference architecture. Most of our customers have their data either on their corporate data centers, which are usually on-premise or on the cloud. The first step in integrating with the AWS ecosystem is to ingest the data, typically into Amazon S3 buckets. Once the data is in S3, then customers typically use big data management to discover, profile, parse, prepare, and then apply several kinds of transformations before they load the data either into subsequent S3 buckets or into Amazon Redshift Data Warehouse. As part of this process, big data management leverages Amazon EMR's capabilities to push down the compute onto the corresponding compute cluster. Now let's take a quick look at the live demo. I'm going to show you the big data management product in action. To give you a quick introduction of what I have here, I have two Oracle tables, line items and orders in an Oracle database, which is in an on-prem environment. I'm going to ingest that into S3 as two different buckets, one as orders and another as line items. Then I'm going to have another mapping that's going to join these two data sets and ingest them into a Redshift data warehouse. So what you're seeing on the screen here is a simple Informatica BDM mapping. In this particular mapping, I'm reading the line items table, applying certain transformations, and then writing to S3. As you can see here, this is a simple scoop object that I have using which I'm connecting to Oracle, doing all the transformations using our Spark execution engine and pushing down the processing onto Hadoop EMR cluster and then writing into a S3 bucket. Similarly, I'm doing it for another table, orders table, which is also an Oracle data object that we're going to connect to using Scoop and then apply certain transformations using the Spark as an execution engine and pushing down the processing to EMR cluster and finally write to S3. Once the data is ingested into S3, you're going to see the S3 buckets and folders and you can go in and then access the S3 data either from tools or from the Amazon own interface. Now, once I have the data in this S3 buckets, I'm going to execute this particular mapping where I'm going to read the data that we just ingested into S3, apply certain transformations, and then we're writing to a Redshift data warehouse. And again, this mapping is also going to be executed in Spark execution mode on the Hadoop EMR cluster. Now, Big Data Management also offers auto deployment and auto scaling capabilities. This is extremely simple to use. All we have to do is create a workflow in BDM, where we have a create EMR cluster task and a delete EMR cluster task. So with these tasks, I can spin up an ephemeral cluster, push down the processing of all of these mappings onto a cluster that we just created, and then terminate the cluster at the end of the processing. Let's take a quick look at that. The create cluster task is here configured to create a EMR cluster, and I have provided the connection details that it needs. A connection is nothing but um, having configurations of the endpoints. So I use this connection to define certain things as uh, my um, subscription ID and so on. In the cluster task, I'm giving a cluster a specific name. I'm using defining the version of the EMR that I want to spin up. The master node type, and the code node types and the task node types. I can also do several things like having additional software settings or additional steps that I want to execute as part of my cluster creation. Now that's pretty much it. With this, a ephemeral cluster will be spinned up. Now my mappings, as you have seen uh, in the previous uh, screens that I have shown here, are all configured to execute on Spark but are pointing to a specific EMR cluster. But when I use them as part of this workflow, I don't want to use a pre-existing cluster. I want to use the cluster that I just created. So all we have to do is select the mappings and go to their advanced properties and set the cluster identifier as order deploy. The product is smart enough to figure out that there is a create cluster task, which is spinning up the cluster in the same workflow. And all the mappings that are configured for order deployment will automatically execute on the ephemeral cluster that we just pinned. At the end of my workflow, I'm going to have a delete cluster task that is integrated with the corresponding create task so that we can delete the EMR cluster that just got created as part of this workflow. So we can create a cluster, execute the processing jobs, ingestion, R and complete processing, 
and then eventually delete the ephemeral cluster. So in summary, Informatica BDM has Spark support, Amazon EMR ecosystem support, and then it, we can auto deploy the EMR clusters and scale them. And from connectivity, we have a broad range of connectivity and I'm highlighting three major connectors that we have here for the batch execution mode, which are Amazon S3, Redshift, and Snowflake. Thank you for watching this video, and please do subscribe to BDM community site at network.informatica.com for more such informational videos.